In this video, we're gonna walk through the top three things you need to know about RSPs and how they actually work. We'll also discuss proper planning and why it's important with RSPs. Without it, you could potentially have a very large tax hit. If you find this video useful, make sure you subscribe to our channel and visit our website for more useful articles and videos on this topic. As a certified financial planner and a portfolio manager, clients often come to me unsure of how RSPs actually work. The best way to understand RSPs is to picture an empty box. Any amount of money that you put in this box is deductible from your income in that year. So let's say you earned $100,000 in this calendar year and you put $20,000 into the RSP box. You'd be taxed as if you'd only made $80,000 in that year. This is an immediate savings of tax. RSPs are extremely flexible with the investments you can hold. You can hold things like GICs, uh, term deposits, mutual funds, stocks, bonds, real estate investment trusts. There's a long list of things that you can hold. When you withdraw money from your RSP, it's added on to your income. So once again, picture that empty box. Anything you remove from that box is fully taxable in the year you take it out. So for example, if you had a year where you earned 80,000, dollars and you took 20,000 out of the RSP box, that year you'd be taxed as if you had $100,000 of income. This is an immediate inclusion of tax. Even though you can take money out of your RSP at any time, you don't have to start withdrawing until the year after the year you turn 71. At that point, it becomes a registered retirement income fund or a RIF and there's a mandatory percentage you have to take out each year. The main thing to remember about RSPs is it's a tool to reduce your tax over your lifetime. You wanna be putting the money into that RSP box when you're in a higher earning year and taking it out when you're in a lower earning year. Up until the time you turn it into a registered retirement income fund, you don't have to take the money out. That doesn't necessarily mean you shouldn't take it out. You have the opportunity to remove it in a lower year, thereby saving tax. RSPs are recognized by the Canadian and U.S. tax treaty, which means if you're an American citizen or a dual citizen, this will not cause any issues with the IRS. Also, so long as you're living and working in Canada and earning Canadian sourced income, you obtain RSP room, which can further reduce your taxable income. Are you maxing out your contributions to your RSP each year? If you're not, if you're unsure about this, Talk to a qualified financial advisor, portfolio manager, or certified financial planner, and what they can do is look at your tax return and figure out to the penny exactly what you're able to put in an RSP for this calendar year. If you're a dual citizen or an American already living in Canada, please go to our website and get free financial planning tips that will help you along your way. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel and check out all the other videos on cross-border financial planning. Thank you for tuning in and watching, and we'll see you in a future video.